So Mayor Marty Walsh is criticizing the service cuts proposed by the MBTA. Now, the T's advisory board is discussing those reductions today. WBZ's Louisa Moeller is live in Austin now with the details. There's a lot on the table here, Louisa. That's right, Paul. The Fiscal Management Control Board discussing this proposal as we speak, all while Mayor Walsh is passionately pleading for the T to change course. Walsh and other city officials gathered outside the Government Center Station T stop this morning and said the cuts would disproportionately impact Boston residents. They argued the plan would hurt essential workers, low income communities, communities of color. These are communities already disproportionately hit by COVID 19, as well as MBTA jobs, 800 of which could be cut according to a recent report. The proposed service reductions include ending the commuter rail at 9 p.m. on weekdays and entirely on weekends, closing the ferry system altogether and reducing subway and bus trips, all a result of low ridership during the pandemic. Mayor Walsh said he is particularly worried about one community, veterans who use the T to get to the VA health care system in Jamaica Plain. These cuts would hurt our veterans from their health care in the middle of a pandemic, and that's wrong. Those proposed cuts on the E-Line service to Mission Hill and the VA hospital, more than 30% of the veterans that the VA serves relies on the MBTA. Now, if approved, these cuts would happen next spring and summer, and critics say that doesn't make much sense with a vaccine on the horizon. However, MBTA GM Steve Poptek says service would come back incrementally. The board is expected to vote on this on December 14th. Live in Austin, Louisa Moeller, WBZ News. Louisa